Imagine strapping 33 rocket engines together, each powerful enough to lift an airliner off the ground and then firing them all at once. That's exactly what SpaceX is doing with the Super Heavy Booster. But why 33? Why not 10, 20, or even 50? Today, we're unpacking the colossal engineering logic behind this choice. And trust me, the answer is way more fascinating than just because Elon said so. Stay tuned, because by the end, you'll see how 33 Raptors are shaping the future of space travel, and maybe humanity's future on Mars. First, let's visualize just how massive Super Heavy really is. Standing at about 69 meters tall, just the booster alone is taller than an entire Falcon 9 rocket. Add Starship on top, and we're looking at 120 meters total height, the tallest rocket ever built in human history. Fully fueled, Super Heavy tips the scales at nearly 3,600 metric tons. That's about as heavy as seven fully loaded Boeing 747 jumbo jets stacked together. No previous rocket comes close. Saturn V? Legendary, yes, but only 2,900 tons at liftoff. Super Heavy is playing in a completely different league. So how do you even get something this heavy off the ground? That's where the 33 engines come in. But let's break down the problem first. Starship isn't just another rocket. It's designed to carry 100 to 150 tons of payload to orbit, and eventually even 1,000 people to Mars. That means it has to lift not only its own massive body, but also Starship sitting on top, plus the propellant it'll carry. A single engine, even the mighty Raptor, just can't do this alone. The solution? Multiple engines working together like a symphony of power. Historically, rockets like the Saturn V used just five F-1 engines because those were the largest engines ever built. But scaling up engines comes with problems, vibration, complexity, and limits of physics. Instead of building one giant monster engine, SpaceX chose the smarter route, cluster lots of smaller, more efficient ones. But exactly how much thrust are we talking about here? Let's crunch the numbers. To escape Earth's gravity, you need more thrust than your rocket weighs. This is called the thrust to weight ratio. And for super heavy, it needs to be greater than 1.0, ideally closer to 1.5 for a safe ascent. Each Raptor 2 engine produces about 230 tons of thrust at sea level. Multiply that by 33, and you get nearly 7,600 tons of thrust at liftoff. That's 16.7 million pounds of thrust, more than twice Saturn V's 7.5 million pounds. For context, NASA's Artemis SLS generates about 8.8 .8 million pounds. Falter Heavy, 5.1 million pounds. The Space Shuttle, 6.8 million pounds. Super Heavy crushes them all. So if just one Raptor is so powerful, why not build fewer, bigger engines? The answer lies in how Raptors themselves work. The Raptor engine is not your typical rocket engine. It uses a full-flow staged combustion cycle, meaning both its liquid methane fuel and liquid oxygen are fully burned after going through pre-burners. This makes it more efficient and capable of higher chamber pressures than older designs. Each Raptor produces about 350 bar of chamber pressure. That's more than 350 times the pressure inside a car tire. The choice of methane is crucial, too. It's cleaner than kerosene, reusable, and can be manufactured on Mars via the saboteur process. So why 33 Raptors? Because their design scales beautifully. You don't need one mega engine. You can use many medium-sized ones that are efficient, reusable, and reliable. But reliability in rockets isn't just a luxury, it's life or death. And that's where having 33 engines becomes a game changer. Here's a fun fact. Super Heavy doesn't actually need all 33 engines to make it to orbit. Even if several shut down during flight, the booster can still complete its mission. That's redundancy at its best. This is exactly the opposite of Saturn V. If one F-1 engine failed, it could be catastrophic. SpaceX flipped the script by saying, what if we had many smaller engines? So failure doesn't mean disaster. Beyond redundancy, there's control. With 33 engines, Super Heavy can throttle and gimbal engines to finely steer the rocket. This makes precision landings possible, just like Falcon 9, but on a colossal scale. So 33 
engines aren't just about raw we power. Have They're about flexibility, safety, Starship and mission success. Back to the zone. But what does this mean for the future of space travel? The ultimate goal isn't just to reach orbit, it's to build a path to Mars. Super Heavy's 33 engines make it the first truly scalable, fully reusable super rocket. Rapid reusability is key. The more engines you have, the easier it is to service, replace, and fly again quickly. Think of it like jet engines on airplanes. You don't ground the fleet if one engine type needs work. As Starship star evolves, we may even see is. more engine variants. Vacuum-optimized Raptors for deep space, maybe even higher thrust upgrades. In a way, 33 isn't the final number. It's just the starting point of a design that can grow with humanity's ambitions. So, why does Super Heavy have 33 Raptor engines? Because no single engine could do the job. Because redundancy saves missions. Because control matters and because this design opens the door to Mars, to lunar bases, and maybe even beyond. If you're fascinated by rockets and want more deep dives into SpaceX and the future of spaceflight, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss my next breakdown. And hey, follow our Rocketry community on Facebook too, where we share even more updates and discussions daily. This is just the beginning. The era of 33 engines isn't about brute force. It's about the birth of a future where humanity becomes a multiplanetary species. And that's a story worth sticking around for.